let's play Legend of Keeper. We're checking out the new DLC, which released today. Play this game twice before on stream. It's been enjoyable both times. Looking forward to checking it out again. Are you a slave master in search of something new? Are you an enchantress with an ever insufficient magic budget? Are you a misunderstood genius? Sign up with the Dungeons Company. Assemble your ideal team, train your monsters to defend our treasures from ever stupider heroes. Feel free to give us a call by Crystal Ball at and become a part of the Legend of Keepers. All right. So this game is, if you've played Darkest Dungeon, I think the simplest way to describe what this game is, is it's like if you were playing a Darkest Dungeon campaign, but you were the one in charge of setting up the dungeons to kill the adventurers. So the adventurers are the enemy. You run a, what exactly is it called? There's an exact word for it. What do you run? Some sort of company which is in charge of defeating. Let's play and you save, maybe? Sure. Which is in charge of protecting dungeons. I was gonna write Twitch Chat is gorgeous, but it stopped letting me type. So you're just gorge? Gorge is a fun word. I feel like that's like UK slang for gorgeous, right? I don't think I've ever heard someone say gorge in the Pacific Northwest. You want to launch the tutorial? Maybe. Actually, what I want to do is make sure that I'm playing with the DLC. That's what I actually want to do. DLC. Return of the Goddess is turned on. All right, good. We'll play the tutorial together. Congratulations and welcome to the Dungeons Company. As you saw on the job posting, your main task is to protect the treasures we keep in our dungeons. We don't have much time to spend training you, so please keep up. I would love to. Heroes keep coming to try and take our treasures. The marketing team has worked hard to promise gold and glory to these idiotic adventurers. We have a little time before they get here, so let's place our traps and our employees to prepare a defense. <laughs> I forgot that the monsters are called employees. I have a bone catapult. Confirm. For this room. We always leave an empty room oh. in every dungeon. I'm ambushing with spells. Ambush the adventurers with one of your favorite spells. Okay. Some rooms are dedicated to combat. This is my favorite bit. Make sure you analyze each group of adventurers. Your employees are counting on you to prepare an effective strategy. Pay attention to combatants' attacks and resistances. They are key elements for victory. Yes. A lot of the game is paying attention to you. So this enemy is very resistant to fire and um, physical attack, but quite weak to ice, for example. Although, in the tutorial, it doesn't look like it matters too much. So these are my monsters. And that's me! If they make it that far, I have to do the rest of the work. Show no mercy. I'm enraging my group of monsters. And now we fight. The job also involves bullying these insignificant humans. Unlucky. No reason work can't be fun. You can of course kill them or terrify them so much they'll flee like peasants as you see fit. Don't forget that in battles, the fastest combatants act first. So you actually get different resources based on if you kill or cause enemies to flee. You either get blood or tears. It 
This game is a lot cleaner than the uh, last time I played it. Like the animations are a lot smoother and stuff. This is an enemy's morale and this is an enemy's health. So we're getting pretty close. Scaring this frontline enemy off. In fact, I think this will do it. Ouch. That one's very close to being dead from damage, but we're not quite going to get there. I believe the game might be deterministic, actually. Are there damage ranges? Enemies always do the same thing. They go based on their speed. Your abilities don't have damage range, I don't believe. I think it's actually deterministic. So the problem with what's going on right now is I don't heal between weeks. So any damage taken there is concerning. What about speed dies? I don't know how it handles those. Shoot for the moon. Shoot for the moon. Your training ends. I'll see you again next year for your annual evaluation. If you do a good job in protecting our treasures, you'll get the promotion you deserve. Yeah, you get some sort of regeneration, but you don't full heal every week. Torture, it's a passion. All right. I've never seen this screen before. Ooh. So many Torture. So this is the DLC, yeah? Anubis's disciple. Endless bow. Ascension bow. Alright, so this is our first mission. I can customize. I can make the heroes stronger or weaker, the gold gains higher or lower, the master's life higher or lower, the motivation lost higher or lower, and the game length normal or long. I can change the difficulty in general. Cool, cool, cool. If I make it harder for myself, I get more experience. And the game does have meta progression. If you look at talents here, I believe experience goes toward unlocking more talent points. Gold earned when a hero flees, heroes destroying the sarcophagus lose morale, heroes lose maximum morale as a percentage when entering the master's room. Master's life increased. Scepter of life regenerates the master's life by 10 to 25, 20% of damage dealt. Mummies in the master have a chance of starting fight with wraps. Oh, it's definitely not deterministic. Those are percentages. Those 2% of maximum morale per stack. The hero who lands a final blow. Mummies and master's powers increased by 3 or 6 for each stack of wraps they are benefiting from. Let's go with... A very simple heroes destroying a sarcophagus lose 10 morale. Oh, what is the info saying? Biog <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Biography. First name Taurus. Age 3,956 years old. Species Hippopotamus. <laughs> Taurus has awakened from an enchanted sleep of many thousands of years. Long ago, she was worshipped as a goddess of fertility. Swaddling and embalming aren't that different after all. The seat of her god of funerals was already taken. It was a good time, but now humans have forgotten her existence. Inconceivable, with her knowledge of wrappings, Taurus plans to establish once more a tyrannical cult in her honor. Alright, let's play. Welcome to the company, Toeris. 
Tawaris. I know you are probably lost and frustrated to see how much the world has changed during your millenary slumber. Humans are no longer as docile as they once were. But with the help of the Dungeons Company family, I'm sure you'll find a way to help them remember how they should be. I should say, by the way, because I always do want to do sponsored stuff and I haven't yet, that this is a sponsored content. So I'm being paid to show this game off to you. It is currently 35% uh, off the main game on Steam and 10% off for the DLC. And there's a link floating around in chat if you go exclamation mark LOK for my link to that. Um, the publishers and devs always like to see those numbers. And yeah, the way that I handle sponsored content on the channel is it's just a chance to check out a game that I would probably enjoy playing anyway. Like I don't take sponsored content from games that I don't think would be interesting to you as a viewer of my channel and with the games that I play otherwise on the channel. So usually I just like pledge to spend a couple of hours um, exploring the game and finding the things that I think are cool about it. And that's the extent of what I do. Cool. We demand Raid Shadow Legends. No. Absolutely not. All right, here's our schedule. Looks like I can't scroll down, but it keeps going for a while. In week one, we have some adventurers. In the Ancient Pyramid, our difficulty is one out of five. No disaster, no resting room. Three heroes. Rewards a monster. What is this? What is this? Um. Oh. Unlock the Enchantress. Sacred Lotus. So I have new stuff to read about. This is what it's telling me. Okay. I haven't read about all the other stuff, so it's fine that I haven't read about that stuff either. <laughs> Carry on. Haunted Canopic Jars or a Modified Fan. We have a Trap Room, a Monster Room, a Trap Room, a Spell Room, a Monster Room, and a Master Room. We are fighting against Velcrom. Velcrom. A Barbarian. Valra. An Elf. And Wilhelm, a Minstrel. This is Nature Damage and makes the hero with the lowest life dodge the first attack at the start of each fight is ice damage and heals maximum life of a hero after a fight once and this is physical damage and makes physical damage better and applies an rage to all heroes at the start of each fight so it feels like what I want to do is try to hit the morale of this front one it doesn't make much sense to try to deal health damage in the first fight because it's just going to be healed by Valra for the most part. But if I deal morale damage, that will stack. So this deals a bunch of morale damage to the front units. Which seems good. Tiredness reduces damage by 20%, but is only minus 10 morale. Well, it's AoE, minus 10 morale. Yeah, let's try this. Wait, confirm. Now we have a room. We will send out Brutalis, who has area damage with morale hits. So gains wraps. Removes all stacks of wraps and applies bleeding per stack removed. Okay. We have Vitaly, who's morale to the front. We have lots of minus morale. One thing that's good to look at is where do these enemies attack? They're all front or area. Okay. So this seems like a perfectly fine way to set up them. Ah, uh, looks like I only have two traps. So that's where I put the modified fan, I guess. And then we have Musculus. Same sort of mummy. Here, damage and minus 12 morale. Minus morale, more, okay. Lots and lots of minus morale. That's me! 
Yeah. Way to go, me. Jorbs is the spire this time. Basically. <laughs> Incredible. So I get to choose what I'm doing. And I am trying to make the front friend run away. Is there a bonus if you stop them before the boss ram? I guess we'll find out. So I want to use soul absorption. I just clicked the wrong one, apparently. Oops. Oh, well, that's very rude, because this is still here now. Okay, so uh, perhaps not perfect play, but I guess the fan gets rid of it. Jessica. I get to choose my spell, Solar Eclipse, a bunch of minus morale, burying a bunch of nature damage, wraps and a random bonus. Let's go Solar Eclipse. I don't have to think about it too hard. I think it was a good choice to have the monsters on the right. Certainly agree. You have 32 morale, you have 94. Oh, that's a lot. Let's get rid of you. Did you just dodge that? You sure did. That's incredibly rude. <laughs> But you still have demoralized. Oh, it's not enough. I think generally, when something has 200 morale, you would probably not try to make it run away, but in this situation. We seem to be good at giving things minus morale. So, we had defended our dungeon, we got 83 gold, 12 tears from heroes who were scared, and zero blood. I'm going to assume that eventually we do want to get some blood, so maybe a unit which was good at dealing damage to things would be good. Like that one, maybe? This one can do a bit of both. Ricochets to the hero position behind the target if the target's morale is above 50%. Hmm. Damage and morale dealt increased by 100% if the target is the last remaining hero. Who's tanky here? Oh, the Scarab is tanky, actually. Okay, I'll take the Scarab. Hey, Quandry. So motivation has dropped a little bit. This is because, why did motivation go down by two for Brutalis, but only one for the others? Is that random? I'm not sure. Are there new things for me to look at? I want to learn how to make the exclamation mark leave me alone. Okay, I made a leave me alone. Looks like I heal 26 life per week, so if I took some damage, I would heal it back. Our tasks here are merchant, trainer, or engineer. Trainer will level up a monster, engineer will level up a trap, I believe, and merchant will let us spend some gold on a variety of things. 
Let's go trainer. Eater monsters lose morale. Yeah, but why did one lose two when the others lost one? Huh. Answer that for me. So the plus is showing me how the upgrade changes the monster. We're seeing that we're getting more power, more speed, and also passive. Applies wraps two to all monsters of the group when the mummy servant is defeated. Applies demoralize to all heroes at the start of the gargoyle's turn. Gains wraps two with the start of the mummy scarab's turn. Gains wraps one when the mummy colossus is def is attacked. Is attacked. This is a passive? 12 air damage and applies to Marlize 2 to all heroes when the ghost is defeated. Marlize 2 is... Minus 10 morale on next turn. Alright, I'm gonna level up my Mummy Scarab. And my ghost. And I'm gonna leave. Now I have no money. Let's do an event instead of doing the taxes. I have a new monster available, but I don't have any money anymore. Possible that I wasn't meant to spend all of my money straight away, huh? My camera's in the way of the blood, money, and tears. I don't know if there's going to be a great place for me to sit in this game. Maybe that'll be better. I don't know. Now I'm floating. I can pay 50 gold for 20 tears. I think that's probably a pretty good exchange rate. I wouldn't know. Oh, tax evasion is one of the mechanics. Oh, it totally is. This time we are against Zardnan, a level 2 priestess, Kian, a level 1 novice, and Karen, a level 1 scout. Dodges the activations of the first regular trap encounter to removes the penalty for the most stacks applied from all heroes at the start of his turn once. Sure. Replaces one of her penalties with a bonus at the start of her turn once. So we don't want to give her a lot of penalties. We want to give them like one penalty. Um, can we do that somehow? Like this, if we do an area attack and apply elemental weakness to everything. That's probably what we want to do. Put Brutalis there, a room mute here. Let's check real quick. You attack the back, and this has a lot of armor. So actually, we'll put Vitali there and room mute at the end. Wait. Haunted Canopic Jars. Um, go with Modified Fan before a fight. Just the same team as last time because I haven't added any more units. Who's got armor? My other trap and me. Wait. Hey, Mikey. So. You are going to remove the penalty with most stacks applied from all heroes at the start of your turn. Next turn. Unwavering. Damage taken unchanged. This is 15% of the hero's maximum morale when another hero is defeated. Gets 5% of the hero's maximum morale back when landing the final blow on a monster. Okay. I could just go scare. Let's just go scare. Oh. 
Yikes. We have a negative nature resist, so if I do this... I get one wraps, which probably does something, I don't know. Not a huge amount. I'm gonna do this just to give them debuffs that they have to deal with. Dress for the job you want. Is that what the monk's doing? Good to know. The monk seems to be defeating my monsters, like by itself, pretty impressively. I like my scarab though, the scarab seems sweet. Worried, damage taken increased by 35%. So, interestingly, if you get things close to running away, but not all the way to running away, you actually get a bonus too dealing damage to them. I have six wraps on that, which means this is going to take a bunch of morale damage when it does that. A little bit. This dodged the trap. Solar Eclipse, a bunch of morale bunch of damage, a lot of damage actually. More wraps around, okay, we'll go Solar Eclipse again. Can't stop watching the monk's hips. There's some stuff going on there. Charon has 18 and minus 10 morale next turn. So I think I can do the AoE attack here. More AoE. And you're out of here too, pretty soon? Soon. Yeah, you want to deal damage. Get some blood. Can I skip? Actually, can I skip? I don't actually know if mechanically I'm allowed to skip. I can speed it up. The Mummy Magus. Bunch of morale at front. Morale dealt increased by 2% per stack of penalty applied to the target. Turns all penalties applied to monsters of the group into wraps and regenerates 10% of their maximum life. Ooh, a healer. It's Amelt's Disciple. Bunch of morale down. Attacks apply bleeding if the target is affected by at least two penalties. Adds one stack to all penalty applied to the target. That's fun. Not super tanky though. Our dead monsters continue not to be motivated. Inadequate resources, so it's telling me not to go there. Fair enough. Let's deal with office troubles and the business work environment. One of your employees has accidentally discovered a long-lost secret tunnel. It leads to a treasure room filled with gold and housing a rare and valuable artifact. You can keep everything for yourself, reward your employee with some gold, or gift them the artifact for one level. This is Musculus. I could choose to level Musculus up, or I can take this artifact. Demoralize deals 200% physical damage instead of morale. Oh, that's really interesting. Do I want that? 200% physical damage.
Just checking how many people actually applied to Moralized. Just one. Um, I'm going to go for offer. So I'm still getting the gold, but I'm just not getting the artifact. And that levels up my monster, so now it's level two. What did that do exactly? It gains reps when it's attacked. It has more health and more power and more numbers on all of its abilities. Wait. Plunder. Send three volunteers to plunder at the place of your choice or a business trip. I don't think I can spare volunteers right now, so I think I'll go on a business trip. Management would like to send one of your employees with the sales department to be their bodyguard. You will be compensated, of course. Gold. Pocket mirror. Damage of the first attack suffered by monsters placed at the back is returned to the assailant once per fight. Seems pretty sweet. I want to take Anxip Nap. I only have room for five artifacts, but that's a good one, right? It seems like it would be a good one. Maybe I meant to take the one that doesn't take very long. On the other hand, this is taking one of my better monsters, and this is only a level one. Yeah, I'll send a level one out. I can swap which rooms my monsters are in, yeah. Let's do the engineer. And I can upgrade one of my traps. I can do minus 40 morale, or I can do... Well, this one's just, like, much better, right? This is an extra 10 morale damage, and this is an extra 30 morale damage. Plus an extra stack of tiredness. Costs more to upgrade. It's fine. Oh, I'm allowed to upgrade both of them if I want. An alchemist. Transmute blood or tears into another resource. Or an event. Let's do an event. Higher... Gigantus, a mummy colossus. Seems good. And I get to choose between adventurers or veterans. Both in the ancient pyramid, we get an artifact. I think we can probably survive this because I'm at full health and it gives us an artifact. Let's do that. So what I want to do is I want to swap you over there. Oh, I swapped all the rooms. Yeah, but this is like basically what I want to do, right? I want to put the lower happiness monsters in front. Or the higher happiness monsters in front, rather. Beautiful soccer man. Let's try these veterans. Artifacts are kind of like relics. Yes, exactly. I have a level one barbarian. Weak to ice. Low morale. Only 115. I have a level two thug. We're gonna die. <laughs> um... Oh god. And I have a level 2 Scholar. Ignores the first attack suffered. Deals 17 ice damage to the monster with the lowest ice resistance at the start of each fight. And what is... Oh, that's the passive. Okay. Who has ice resist? Nobody has ice resist. Oh, that's not entirely true. Confirm. Wait, did I get the pocket mirror immediately? It looks like I got that immediately. 
Well, that's exciting. Here, the people with no ice resist are just going to instantly die. Try putting you in front this time. Human mortality. No reason to attack the back one there because she's just going to dodge the first attack entirely. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, you did not get to move? Did you move? I think you moved once. Definitely not twice. The damage reflected back on the caster. Ah, uh, did you use my link, Dalgash? There is a link. Goodbye. Okay, they just had to go through a lot of traps. Wait, the music is sort of a jam. A little bit of a jam. Looks like I actually just deal with these with no trouble at all. Nice. Hey Kate, how are you? You have successfully protected the treasure. Would I like homeopathic poison? Heroes with less than 50% of their maximum morale lose 30 wall resistances. Sacred Lotus monsters gain wraps one when attacked or demonic pendant applies terrified five to all heroes when a demon is defeated. Morale taken from attacks and traps is increased by 50%. I don't have any demons right now, is the only problem with that. Homeopathic poison should be fine. You're too brave. <laughs> is, that, is that one of the heroes? That's really funny. All right, let's try to build up our wraps. Wraps seem like they do something or are meant to do something. Our motivation has gone down a bit. That's fine. I don't have enough money for a trainer, so I guess I will go to a doctor. The occupational health office has been called to do some tests following your recent assignments. Everything seems to be in order. Thank. Okay, good chat. Let's do another business trip. This time we get winged boots. Monsters place at the front gain 40 speed. Seems pretty good. And visit a therapist, an employee morale review. A workout, a master has to stay fit. Yeah, let's do a workout. This buffs me. You can spend a bunch of tears to get plus 10 speed, okay. I don't know if that was worth it. I have no idea. And I don't really want to go to a merchant. I don't have any money. Let's do an event. While dusting the dungeon, the cleaning goblin has freed a monster caught in a spider's web. He also accidentally woke up a giant spider queen who demands compensation for the destruction of her webs minus 130 life by choosing to fight, which is the only thing I can do. I can't feed and I can't pay. There goes a bunch of my health, but I'm regening quite fast, so it shouldn't be too big a deal. I have a new monster, yeah? This is... Ajasal. A time watcher? A bunch of air damage. 
I think we go solo mummy. Next, I think, for gifting us up to Blackwater Sunset. This only deals damage. It's not what I want at all. Azure Cell does seem to be a demon, yeah. I should look at what these are. Level 2 Disciple, level 2 Elf, level 2 Exile. This gives morale back, this gives life back. This removes a penalty. They have a billion morale, also a lot of health. This attacks front, area, back. Back with air damage? This 50% air resist. Background art style for this game is so pretty. It's a very vibey game. Some vibes for sure. Thanks for gifting us up to Kate as well, Kanexi. Any of them have negative nature resist? Nope. What is this? Benefiting from winged boots. Oh, look at all those wraps. Can remove all my wraps and apply a stack of bleeding per stack remove. That's okay. So I guess one thing that would be nice would be a way to give things negative nature resistance. So soul absorption did more. Your name is Kanexi, Kanexi. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Oh, I was reading my debuffs and then my monster was just dead. That's unfortunate. It's real bad luck for the monster. I have just been solar eclipsing and I don't see why not continue that. D rules. We're somewhat good at dealing with the back enemy, so maybe we'll go after the back enemy here. Oh, wait. Probably have to take that. Goodbye, my friend, and my other friend. Once you get some of them running, all of a sudden the morale on all the others goes down real quick. I wonder a little if I need to be thinking about how to collect blood, though. Room 1 is not a great gig, yeah. There's a sphinx. Applies nature weakness. Nature resistance reduced by 40. There you go. That's the thing I wanted. 50 speed. Imhotep. This is minus 48 morale. Attack steal 5% additional damage and morale per stack of wraps. The bastard disciple is benefiting from. Hmm. Let's apply a bunch of nature weakness though. What is this possessed armor? Didn't really even look at this. Godfroy. Bacchorus. I feel like Bacchorus is the coolest name. Mm -hmm. I guess, on the other hand, this doesn't deal any morale damage. All it does is make the mummies have targets with negative nature resist. That's okay, though. I'm sure it will level up to be useful. Hey, my name is Bronus. Crime for Chikaka. 
Is this that game you play as the tower? We are the... I don't have any money. <laughs> we are the defenses here, yeah? We're defending the dungeon. I don't have enough money for a course. But I do have enough money for a trainer, it looks like. I can upgrade Madu. When Madu dies, all monsters of the group get two wraps. Pass. I feel like we can do better. Check out an event. Let's sell Zluby, the cleaning goblin's pet insect, <laughs> to a gourmet chef. Okay, that kept getting worse. Okay, what does resurrect you? It gets me tears. Take the gold. I seem to be struggling for gold right now quite a lot. So, can I pull some of these monsters out to level up their happiness or whatever? Is that a thing? They do that. Yeah, they're healing. Okay. So I should probably have been doing that this entire time. Good to know. Is this game fun? I'm enjoying it. Oh my gosh, that has 425 health. It is a level 3 Berserker. Cannot be affected by bleeding. Dodges the first trap. Can't be affected by demoralized. Oh, but that's the, like, only position where I put demoralized. They seem to deal lots of damage, but otherwise not too much. Physical to front, physical to back. Target's the slowest monster. Actually, I want this in the middle, I think. Go first. Wow. You go from having 30 speed to having 70 speed just by leveling up one time. Oh no, I have speed on the front unit. That's what's actually going on. Okay. Which one's the slowest unit? This one? And this one's weak to ice? Oof. Oof. Unfortunate. Tally is very quick though. just uh, rebounded. So let's get their nature resistance lowered. Somehow that still has positive nature resist. Ow. Don't do that, please. Uh... More? No, don't do that either. Well, I have bad news. Back enemy cannot be affected by demoralized.
This has almost died. I haven't even like deliberately been dealing damage to it, it's just almost dead. One is gone. One is actually dead. Wait, but what? <laughs> Regenerates 30% of max life and gets 30% max morale back when all other heroes are defeated. Well then, <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> reading may be worth it. Possibly an important part of the game, I don't know. Uh, this trap should just scare her off. Yeah. Okay. Scepter of Life. Ferocious Yawn. Or Fear of the Mummies. Well, we have defeatedly... Defeatedly? We have successfully defeated the adventurers or whatever. GG. The harpooner seems hella strong. A little bit. I think spending my money on more monsters at the start was very bad. It's a thing that I'm learning. Turns all penalties applied to monsters of the group into ramps and regenerates 10% of their health. Motivation has increased on some, not on others. Ooh, what is my exclamation mark now? I don't know. Oh, this one? And this one. We have learned about homeopathic poison. Very good. Have I lost all the employees? No, we resurrect them. Resurrect them, of course. However, um, Musculus is getting a little bit upset. To keep in mind. Check out an event. Pandora's box. I'm going to take 200 gold. And I'm going to go to a trainer. There's a siege. Rent out some traps. Oh. Oh, if I'd realized that was coming, maybe I would have taken the trap. This costs 250 and its upgrade is what exactly? More health, more resists. This says it improves, but I can't tell how. My one air damage applies elemental weakness resistances reduced by 20. 21 air damage applies out. It says it upgrades. <laughs> what does it do? Looks the same to me. Let's find out. Let's click the button. Now it's 28 air damage. Is that all? And elemental weakness 3. Okay. I guess reducing weakness works with the mummies as well, doesn't it? Minus 40 morale and remove all bonuses applied to a target. Cool, let's do it. I just want to like level up all my units. I feel uninspired by the other things I can do. Sacrifice. Wait. <laughs> Wait, does that do what I think it does? 
A strange gentleman in the guise of a toy manufacturer knocks on your door and offers to sell you a range of amusing items. He requests nothing in exchange other than the materials to make them. A strange and troubling force physically prevents you from declining. Mine is 130 life if you choose to pay in life points. I got two birds stone. Attacks targeting only the hero at the front deal 30% of final damage to the hero positioned behind the target. I don't have blood. 24% chance that monsters defeated come back to life with skeleton once. Uh, the, the warrior. Apply terrified five to all heroes when a demon is defeated. I don't have any demons. So I guess I'll pay life. It seems optimal not to upgrade until just before a fight. Like upgrade my heroes? My monsters, I mean? I guess the problem is that like I don't have a thing that lets me upgrade them here, right? Sell monsters that are no longer useful to you. Let's visit a therapist. And your employees get a therapy session paid for by the company. Killing humans is a difficult line of work. You often have to leave your conscience at home, particularly during torture sessions. This session will let your employees talk about their feelings and let out some steam. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay, so that helps a little bit. Now everybody's a bit happier. I think what I'd like to do is put you in room two and put you in room one. And we reduce resistances in room one and then take advantage of that in room two. I think that's the plan. Let's also rest you and play I don't know. You instead. Feels like level one monsters are not gonna survive very long at this point. Are there balance changes or just additions? I am not sure. This rewards a trap and lots of gold. Let's do it. Now the next DLC to add a function where the monsters unionize and you have to negotiate with a union rep. You don't think that's already a thing? I feel like that's probably already a thing. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> That has some numbers. This is a sorceress that attacks the front with air damage and replaces penalties with bonuses at the start of turn once. Randomly moves all monsters to another position at the start of the first fight. So our first fight is doomed. Damage and morale taken from traps reduced by 50%. Lies dodge to the hero with the lowest life percent at the start of each fight. We're so doomed. This is also level 3. How can I do anything here? I guess it doesn't matter what order things are placed. Do these apply penalties? Not really. Very few. So we're attacking front with air, area with fire, area with physical, front with air. Fire and physical, so these are just dead. The fire and physical damage. This one will survive a little bit, maybe. Oh, wait. It said move to another position. Oh, so putting them in the places I want them is actually actively bad then. That's awkward. I can now do the Millennial Riddle. Which will apply 60 morale damage and remove bonuses. They don't have any bonuses yet. How are they for nature resist? I think 
this is worth doing. We now have increased armor, okay. The AoE is giving me lots and lots and lots of wraps, fortunately. A beautiful song. This time, ah, uh, sure, I'll go Solar Eclipse. Dodges the next attack. Imagine being that bad at playing a musical instrument. Couldn't be me, that's for sure. Still alive? I think that probably gets to move again then. Nope! It was bleeding. Wait, it like exploded and they all... Huh, that was cool. Okay! We did it! Nice! Got a new trap. A polar portal. It's 10 ice damage and applies frostbite. Applies one additional stack if the target's ice resistance is negative. Minus 10 morale. Stacks of all penalties applied to heroes increase by 2. I like that one. We put that one after the first fight, I think. Yeah, that seems good. Motivation. I have 272, I could heal myself, I'd rather not go to the engineer. How does this upgrade? Eh. How does this upgrade? Eh. I think I'm unexcited by these. Save the gold for later. Check out an event. A journeyman trainer. I could upgrade Apu for 62 gold. What is bargain? How would I be able to do this? Oh, I have to have a particular type of employee for that to work, I see. Potion of Evolution. An employee found a strange unlabeled flask while cleaning and is about to drink it without even checking if it's poisonous. You recognize it as an Evolution Elixir. Will you let them drink it or will you take it for yourself? Or I can sell it. Get another level 2 mummy glosses. I already have two of those. I'm just going to sell it. Champion. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Lucky me, yeah. a bunch of gold. Do you think the champion will kill me? Rewards rare. I say we find out. <laughs> I say we find out. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's an innkeeper. Damage dealt increased by 15% per penalty applied to the innkeeper. Yeah. 
gains two bonuses and two penalties at the start of each turn, removes the penalty with the least stacks at the end of the turn, or generates 5% of the innkeeper's maximum life per stack removed. We are so dead. 58. Fire, fire, ice. Anybody have fire resist? Yes. Music's a vibe. Gently reminding me that I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> uh, so I want fire resistant front. Which I guess is gonna be you, friend. And then I don't want someone with really bad ice resist. Oh, oh no, you have really bad ice resist. <laughs> well, that's unlucky. Uh, well, there's probably no way to play around it. Just is mostly bad. Oh. I guess I just do this because the other ones don't do much. Ow! Rude. Ow! Ricochets once the monster position behind the target if the target is defeated. I see. That's unfortunate. Oh my gosh, look at your buffs. What is even happening? <laughs> Got rid of the back enemy, maybe. This has demoralized on it, right? It has one demoralized for minus five morale. It's at eleven morale right now. It has fifty-five speed. So everything goes before it. So I can start on this and get rid of it with an AoE attack. Like that, I guess. Is this tiredness? Let's stack that some more. Let's try to get rid of the middle one first. You think we're dead? Now we're fine. Removes all stacks of wraps and applies bleeding one per stack removed. Removes the penalty with the least stacks at the end of the turn, regenerates 5% of max life per stack removed. That applies bleeding 10? A lot of bleeding. I didn't realize I applied it in an AoE. That's um okay. Even better.
question is, is it too easy? Oh, the bleed. Wait, that was the first attack against my backline unit. GG. All right. Stacks can do morale or physical damage depending on how they're activated. Maybe? <laughs> nice left, Berlons. I'm proud of you. Moralize deals 200% physical damage instead of morale. I still don't really have that. An Infernal Guardian. This is some sort of monster, and it is a rare monster. The attack ricochets once to another random hero if the target's fire resist is negative. Gruesome Surprise. Is this a trap? I think that's a trap. These are rare. Like, that's exciting. Is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if I want this. I want this? It has 175 health. It's sort of a lot. Terrible ice resist. It does apply fire weakness. <laughs> I guess it deals lots of damage. I don't know. All right, let's check out this trainer. How do you level up? Lies fire weakness three to all heroes when a monster of the group is defeated. Oh my gosh. That costs 400 gold. Okay, so like one, two, three, four. I have five level twos, but this one needs a break. I probably need to level up some other level twos. Applies to Marley's one to all heroes when a monster of the group is defeated. Applies to Marley's one to all heroes at the start of its turn. That's more like it. I like that more. It's a demon. This is a demon. That's a demon. So I do actually have three demons. This is so cheap to upgrade. Yes, now it's level three. Likes to demoralize things. All right, cool. Trap gets pretty strong upgraded. Yeah. Yeah, I bet upgrading traps is good. Probably should have done that. A seminar and outing amongst colleagues is always a joy. We are only not human. We are, oh, as in, we are only, like, we're only human. I get it. <laughs> yeah, okay, gotcha. Can I give you a bad guy seminar? I think you either understand how to be a bad guy or you don't. Wait, are the people who are here not available for training? Feels like they weren't available for training. Risk. Of injury 35% for one volunteer for three weeks, but we upgrade a trap 100%. Next dungeon 75% tiredness 3 for all monsters, but we gain gold and find an artifact sometimes. Set a monster free 20%. Let's try the pilgrimage site for some gold and an artifact. Oop. We have tiredness on all of our monsters. But I have a thing that turns debuffs on my monsters into wraps, so. 
Big brain. Let's make everybody happy again. And let's do this. Get another artifact. I need to run to the bathroom before I do this stronghold though. So I will be right back real quick. We have limited artifacts. I believe we're only allowed five, yeah. But that's okay, I can get rid of the ones that are the least useful, I assume. I guess I could take an easier week and um, go for a trap, I suppose. But it seems like everybody's doing fine. Let's rotate Vitaly out for a week. But we still have level twos that are available for this room. We'll put you in there just in case. And let's rotate out Apu. Oh, that actually means I'm playing a level one in that room. Which isn't great, is it? Ah. Uh, Oh well, probably we'll be fine. This is the one that, oh, here we go. We put this in room two, and we put you in room one, maybe? Have dig on. Probably want a good tank in front of dig on. All right, let's try this. Will it work? Maybe. Could work. Maybe not. I don't need you here. Is Dagon not the tank? Uh, I think Dagon is able to be a tank. It is also the most damage that I have. It's like if you had... Let's see. What's a, like, comparison to a game that I've played before on this channel? I'm thinking of, like, like MOBAs, but I haven't really played MOBAs on this channel, so I'm not sure the comparison's gonna work. This is area nature damage. Ooh, loses less morale. Norse first attacks suffered. This is front physical damage. It's a bar, uh, Berserker, level 4. 500 health, okay. This is back air damage and returns morale. So I don't want air in back. I don't want armor in front. So let's put that in back, this in front, that middle. Works for me. Play the fan, cast a spell, use the box. And then, dig on. Pretty sure dig on goes in the middle. You have 35% fire resist, that is so upsetting. Pretty sure we put this in front because it has some armor. Let's put Dagon in the back, actually. Dagon has some air resist and has 200 health. It's probably fine. This is fast enough to move twice. All right, let's try that. They're demoralized because at the start of this thing's turn, it applies demoralized to everything. Neat. It doesn't actually have very much health. Maybe I should just kill it. Anything have negative nature resist? One thing, sort of.
Ah, it's because of my relic. Next targeting only the hero at the front. Deal 30% of final damage to the hero position behind the target. This is also applying the debuffs. The hero behind the front. Which I did not realize it was going to do. This piece is not useful here. <laughs> um, Not even a little bit useful. It's interesting to me how fast the fights go. Definitely don't last many turns, huh? Oh my gosh, that's just gonna bleed to death. He's just dead. Alright, got one down. The bleed is strong. I wonder where an attack that targets middle hits now. Like, obviously front hits there and back hits back. I bet it hits the Barbarian. Let's find out. It does. Why is this 35 fire damage? Oh, because I have five stacks of tiredness. Yeah, that would do it. I'm going to turn all... Uh, actually, I'll wait another. Maybe I just never play that even. So tanky. Okay. Gets rid of all of the debuffs. MOP? Chat? MOP? Oh my gosh. It like vomits fire into the sky. <laughs> Incredible. Heroes with less than 50% max morale lose 30 to all resistances. That seems really good. Grants 50% to apply frostbite with monsters attacks which deal morale. Ice damage from monsters attacks are dealt to the target's fire resistance if it's lower than the ice resistance. Let's take this one. No, that was the hardest fight. I don't need to go to a doctor, and I don't think I need to go to a merchant, so I don't know what to do. I'll go to a merchant. I bet I meant to, like, know what everything does and deliberately build certain combos of units. That just seems like something that I would be meant to do. Well, I don't know what everything does, so I'm just clicking on things at random instead. Employee morale review. Let's do that again. That has tended to be useful. Let's take a business trip, because I don't have enough money for a trainer. 18 weeks. I'll get 200 gold for you. A course. What is a course? An opportunity to send one of your employees to an intensive training course. Two levels. The training would take eight weeks. 
Okay, I guess. It's a better deal, right? But it takes eight weeks. Hmm. We have to fight a champion. Wait, it's the end. This is it. Wait, why am I sending a thing somewhere for eight weeks if this is the end? <laughs> Doesn't seem like a sensible thing to do. Uh, We'll put you in room one. Beautiful. Let's fight. What do we got? Ooh, you're like flying. Morale loss is reduced by 50%. Deals air damage to front, replaces one of our penalties with a bonus at the start of our turn once. Okay. Deal ice damage to the back, lots of ice damage to the back. Brings a dead hero back to life as a skeleton warrior at the start of each turn. Gains enraged when the Necromancer loses morale. Oh my. Okay. Can be affected by Demoralize, dodges the activations of first regular trap encounter. Okay. Minus 15. Oh, oh. We do have negative fire resists on them. They're dealing air damage front, fire, and ice damage back. Air damage front, fire and ice damage back. Fire and ice. Well, this is 50% air resist. Unfortunately, fire and ice is a bit difficult for me to deal with. So I want to make them run away, I believe. I believe if I make them run away, probably, they won't be summoned as skeleton warriors. Hope so. I have enraged the necromancer further. Sensible. I'm sure that'll go great. Oh my god. Um I want to make them bleed. Now we have three wraps. Minus 12 morale. It's like not nothing. I think the problem is I just don't want to enrage the necromancer anymore. Oh, we move again? Okay, unexpected. Necromancer is enraged six, because when the ghost exploded, it upset the necromancer. <laughs> um, that will also enrage the necromancer more. Oh my god. Let's take Gulthor's blessing. So, this is fun. made it run away. Nice. Is that just it? You just dud to the fire? Oh ho ho ho! 
Oh, your head! Oh no! <laughs> the answer appears to be no, yeah. I'm gonna assume the Skeleton Warrior is less scary than the other thing. Okay, that just kills it in one hit. That's not too bad. Victory! I now understand how the ancient temples of the Nakra Delta have remained untouched for all this time. The humans of the old empire probably shouldn't have forced the locals to open them, eh? According to our latest reports, they've accidentally opened a demonic portal only a few dunes away from you. Good news for us! Nice. And then I bellowed, this tomb will be your tomb! <laughs> Not bad, eh? Oh my god. Bring the sacrifices. Oh my god, the hippo. So now we have mission two. Which starts us with different stuff, yeah? For our reward, we, I believe, unlocked the Anubis Disciple? And it's here. What does this do? It does a bunch of ice damage and morale and ricochets to the thing behind. 21 damage of type equivalent to the target's lowest resist. Okay. We start with a Sphinx. And a Mummy Scarab. Oh, I like these pieces. What is this? Protective Tablet. Applies Shell. Next group of monsters. And a Pandora's Box. Nice. 25% chance that monsters defeated come back to life as skeleton warriors. So I start with an artifact to For my talents. Hey T-Bone. Monster. Oh, I can actually see what these are and build toward them. That's clever. Monsters attacks that deal nature or air damage deal 15% additional damage. Solar Eclipse deals more morale, blood comes from monster training reduced. Golthor's Blessing also applies Shell 2. I should probably go up here as quickly as I can, right? Seems like the play. I don't know what blood ghost or monster training reduced is. I've never seen it offer me monster training for blood, I don't think. Oh. Do I have to do both? Oh, that's pretty upsetting. What is this? Heroes lose max morale when entering the master's room. Extra gold when a hero flees. Okay, I guess I'll just keep on working on this. The third round to reach level 4 of training often seemed to have a blood cost. Gotcha. Does it tell you how many weeks it is? When you start? If I had been paying attention, wouldn't it have told me that? Or is there like some way to see? Is it always just 32 weeks? Kefris, Abu, and Taran. This is going to reduce resistances. This is going to reduce resistances. 
Apply tiredness to things. What's our tank? That's our tank. This is our tank. You are our everything. Okay. Last one was 38 weeks. Okay. We have to start a new corporation now. So there's like a, a campaign, I guess is what I'd say. Let's see if I can show you. Just going to... I don't think this will lose my progress. So what we have is in the main game. i delete this and look at a new file for you. Torture, it's a passion. We have the slaveholder who has these missions. Oh, do we change game length and that means... I see. And that's only one toggle. So that changes how long it lasts for. An experience game doesn't change from that. Okay. So we have this, and then once we level this up to level 3... We can play the Enchantress, who also has a bunch of missions. And level 5. Oh, that's an Engineer, sorry. Not an Enchantress. And this is an Enchantress. And each of these are starting with a certain group of pieces and traps and perhaps an artifact. And then as you move on, you unlock more of them in their campaign. And then we also have... This is the DLC um, Dungeon Master? I'm not sure what they're called. Which is what I've been playing today. This game isn't hiding the fact that you are the bad guy. It is true. If you're not into that sort of dark humor, it may not be the game for you. But I don't think it's presented in a like certainly for me as a player it's not presented in a way that is a turn off hey lion it's intentionally presenting you as like a demonic dungeon master running your monsters like they're a corporation it's like simultaneously making fun of two awful things at the same time All right. We have nature damage to back, air damage to back, and fire damage to front. You remember the day you were introduced to the concept of irony? Hmm. Sorry, what was this again? Nature damage to back, air damage to back, and fire damage to front. So it's nature and air to my back line. And fire to... So I actually probably want you there. Interesting. What are your passives? I mean to spells... Gives back morale... Back health. Something about us 
It sounds like you want to improve the world, which is awesome and a very important thing to do. But it also sounds like you have not done a very good job of identifying the best way to do that right now. All right, let's put you in back and you in front, I think, because it's fire damage to front. I guess we apply tiredness to things. Probably taking less damage is good. Stacking tiredness. <laughs> Thank you for checking, Maniatic. So, let's continue enjoying our video game. I haven't done a great job of keeping tiredness on enemies, but it seems to be a thing that my monsters are able to try to do. start with us. Wait, what is going on? Oh, it ricochets if they have... Oh, I see. Hey, horoscope. Getting some blood early seems pretty good. So we have a mummy colossus that's back. What does a naga do? Naga also likes it if the front hero is at 50% morale. I'd try the naga. That just has really big numbers. Like all of those numbers are big. All right. Hey, Jarkiel, I'm doing all right. I 
I'm like... I'm jarred by this. Do I need to explain that... No, it's not actually good to, like, set up dungeons and kill people? Because I don't for the other games that I stream, so... Maybe some people just very particularly dislike some things about this game culturally. It's so weird. <laughs> I guess I understand it. It's just, um, don't play the game if you don't like it. Anyway. We are the bad guys, Sneaky D. <laughs> Jake Essen. So I have 532 gold. Should we try upgrading the traps this time? Let's try upgrading the traps a little bit this time. In particular, I like this Pandora's box. Oh, but it doesn't upgrade well. Great. We talked about this already. All right, well, let's upgrade shell then. Get some defense on our monsters. Do not have enough money for a seminar. Let's do a plunder. The feudal castle gives us. Oh, we always find a monster. I think I just take this one though. Take the gold. I have injured Swirhala, my Naga. Does that mean I need another monster? No, I'm doing okay. <laughs> Natural Ronald. Is this going to get to a point where it's like really good soon? Applies shell to you to the next two groups of monsters. And this requires tears. Okay. You siege. Rent out some traps. This would presumably leave me not having any traps anymore. Let's try it. It's gone for eight weeks. <laughs> All right, let's see how that goes. Violence in video games causes violence in real life. Gives 2% of all heroes max morale back at the start of each turn. That's rude. We got fire AoE, physical AoE, air to front. Lots of air to front. Wondering if I want the shell here or later. I want it later. Thanks for 16 months, Maniatic. Physical damage, fire damage, air damage. Physical and fire. Oh, 
Uy. Keep on ending up putting the weakest monster in front. It's happened two dungeons in a row, it feels like. Oh, right, but they randomize it and I forgot. Whoops. Let's get rid of morale on the front one because I have attacks that bounce if the front one is low morale. Probably this Naga should not be in the first room. Probably not. I don't feel like I'm gonna deal any damage to this group of heroes at all at any point. Ooh, a skeleton. The skeletons do. as the monsters in this game, indeed. Let's take random blessings. Enraged, enraged, enraged. Why doesn't this deal any damage here? Of dodge. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to take like 700 damage on my hero, it looks like. Unfortunate. So that 10 gifted subs I cost up I appreciate it. Ooh, it has dodge in front too. Wonder if I'll just die. Oh my god, please don't, like, talk about that in my chat, Drekker. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> People are chilling out and watching a video game and don't... <laughs> okay. Take that much damage, did I? Miraculous Pill. Monsters placed at the back perform an additional attack, but lose minus 20 speed and start fights with minus 50% of their max life. That's really interesting. Why is burn 3 to all heroes when a demon is defeated? I like that. Let's make lots of demons this time and set things on fire. Send an employee to an intensive training course. So this is a way to be stronger later at cost of strength right now. Let's do it. Let's send Sharan to get plus two levels sometime soon. Uh, let's do a plunder. I'm going to lose one of my monsters for 10 weeks. Okay. 
Goodbye, Taran. I'm not gonna have, like... Oh my god, I don't even... <laughs> I don't even have six monsters. Shall we plunder again? I feel like that's the important question here. Full wagon, thanks for the 20 months. I appreciate it. Do certain monsters only lose one morale when they die? I'm not sure. I don't know. I've been plundering more because I just didn't have enough gold to do stuff I wanted last time. Ooh, this finds a monster 100% at cost of some morale. It looks manageable. Let's do this though. This gives me more stuff. Hey, I actually dodged an injury too. Good news everyone! The board has declared that due to a great financial period, the company can allocate you extra resources in the form of a trap, a recruit, or cold hard cash. I can get a mortar, a flame eater, or 200 gold. I believe I currently need more monsters, right? What if I just prioritize gold always? Let's try playing it like that. I will not be fighting a champion right now. No thank you. But a rare? Hmm. <laughs> but a rare? I'm all level one. I don't have a third monster even. Yeah, let's do this one, maybe. I am still also down one trap. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm aware. What do we got? Ice to front, area nature, fire to front. They are good at defending against morale loss and debuffs in general. We'll deal a little bit of damage to the back with that group though. Ice front, nature, fire. This is a very good piece. Fireball leading him back again. I recognize all of these at this point. Oof. Daggers, though. I was going to go after the lady in the. That doesn't make sense, though, because I have the bouncing attack. I should get morale down on this one. Skeleton. Oh, it just purges the debuff though. That was silly. any damage. That's like my big attack that I was excited about. Bit concerning. Okay. 
So if that fireball had killed my front unit, it would have bounced to the back unit as well. A little bit lucky there. This is fine. Why is Neo in the window? Nope, don't know what that means. Oh, there's a boss trait that makes Scepter of Life heal you, right? Presumably at that point you can just not play anything at all. I think I'm gonna take another protective tablet. Do we just have like four shell? I seem to be taking relevant amounts of health damage. Nah, I'm like a hippopotamus god, I'm gonna be fine. Check out the merchant. There are three merchants in a row. Uh, possessed armor, physical damage and minus morale. Applies terrified if target's armor is negative. Poison cloud. Care, mummy servant, don't care. Uh, let's reroll. Time watcher. Air damage and slowed. Target slower than time watcher at ricochets. That's pretty good, I think. Uta Kuchiana. Invulnerable things. Is that a time watcher? Was I going demons on this run? In theory. In theory, I believe that was what I was attempting to do. So my traps are back. Maybe I can send the Pandora's box out to the siege. Can. I didn't get anywhere that I could like make myself stronger in any way there. Sharon is back. I need to give Henetta Nut. The rest of them. Plus one motivation for all available monsters. Sure. And we've got some veterans. It was worth it to tank with your leader early on to have a stronger rooms later while they heal for free each week. Yeah, it does, right? That's pretty common in games like this. You wanna um, use your health as a resource to get strong early and then get to a point where you don't have to use it like that anymore. Oh, Sharon is back. This is a level three Dark Magus right now. Has elemental weakness three to all heroes when it's defeated. It's morale and applies tiredness. Seems like I have some sort of like tanky setup that I'm building towards, although I need some way to deal damage over time if I'm going to benefit from my monsters staying alive for a really long time. Uh, we won the last round, Drunk Owl. It is almost 9 p.m. and I haven't had dinner yet. So I'm going to wind it down here. Thanks for hanging out and enjoying this with me. Super fun game. And order myself some dinner. I don't know if we will have Jorbs After Dark again. Yesterday we had Jorbs After Dark. I don't know if I'm going to get extra out of line tonight. 
If you liked the look of this game, it is exclamation mark L O K. You can find it on Steam via my link. It's currently 35% off for the main game and 10% off for this new DLC hero, The Goddess.